Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss eight different coats of arms in the Hudson family. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy and ancestral research services at our website. Please visit the link in our description. We are typically able to trace your family's ancestry back several hundred years and determine whether or not they owned a coat of arms. The first Hudson coat of arms to discuss is blazoned as follows. Per Chevron embattled Argent and Gules, three Escalops counterchanged. Crest, a griffin's head erased Argent, gorged with a mural crown, Gules, charged with three Escalops of the first. This coat of arms belonged to the Hudson Baronets of Melton Mowbray in County Leicestershire, and they were awarded the baronetcy in 1660. It was given to Sir Henry Hudson, who was born in the year 1609. He was the son of Robert, and this is not Henry Hudson the sailor, okay? Here we see where Melton Mowbray is on the map, as well as a list of the Hudson Baronets, all the way through the seventh Baronet, who passed away around the year 1781. Next is Per Chevron embattled ore and azure, three martlets counterchanged, crest a martlet ore. This coat of arms was granted to Sir Charles Grave Hudson, born 1730. He was created the first baronet of Wanlip Hall in County Leicestershire, England, on June 21st, 1791. He was a director of the South Sea Company, and we know that the second baronet in this family who succeeded him assumed the surname Palmer by royal license in 1813. Here we see a photograph of Juan Lip Hall. Next is Per Chevron embattled ore and vert three martlets counterchanged. Crest, a martlet vert winged ore. We know this was born by the Hudson family of London, spelled with a, an O instead of a U, who descended from John Hodson of New Sam, who had a son named William. This William Hodson of Newcastle married Emma Carey and had three sons. El Eliza, who was a doctor in London around the year 1634, Phineas, a doctor of divinity and chancellor of the Church of York, and Daniel, a London merchant. Now, this coat of arms may have also possibly been borne by Hudson of Normanby in Yorkshire, who descended from Thomas Hudson and his son Christopher Hudson, although I am not positive of that. And we also know there was a Rudolph Hudson, or Hudson, born around the year 1465, who was a whaler who traded in Russia and later became an alderman in London. He had several sons. I'm not sure if there's any relation between them and the above individuals. I would have to do more research. Next is Per Chevron embattled ore and azure, three martlets counterchanged. Two and one, those in chief charged on the breast with a fret of the first, and that in base with a fret sable. This coat of arms was granted to Elizabeth Hudson, maiden name Wilson, on April 10th, 1766. She was the widow of Benjamin Hudson of Burlington, who was the eldest son of William, a merchant of the same place. And the arms was also allowed to be borne by the, by the descendants of William Hudson the merchant. 
Next is quarterly per fess, embattled ore, and sable, three martlets counterchanged. Crest, a dexter hand erect, holding with the thumb and forefinger a bizant proper. Now, I believe that this coat of arms was granted in 1702 to Roger Hudson and to his brother John Hudson, who are both goldsmiths in London. And one clue to that would be, I believe at least, the bizant in the crest. A bizant is a representation of an old coin, an old gold coin, so that would make sense. Next is ore on a fess between three boar's heads cooped gules, as many lions rampant of the field. This coat of arms was born by Thomas Hudson, born 1772, of Chesswarden Hill Hall and Salop, and of Park Crescent, Portland Place, in County Middlesex. He was a member of Parliament for Evesham between 1831 and 1834. He was the son of a shopkeeper in Wigton, Cumberland. Gules on a fess between three boar's heads erased argent as many lions rampant sable. Crest, a lion rampant holding a boar's head erased all proper. This arms was borne by William Hudson Esquire of Frogmore Lodge in County Hertfordshire, England, who died in the year 1851. Here we see a old photograph of Frogmore Hall. And lastly, for the purposes of this video, there are more Hudson coats of arms, but Argent, a cross moline between two lozenges in chief and a boar's head cooped all sable, the last armed ore. And this is from the Hudson family in Scotland. And all we know about this is that it was, it was found in Ponce Manuscript, which, is, which dates to the uh, late 16th century. If you enjoyed this video and would like to discover who your ancestors were and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com. Thank you very much.